Hello. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how it's possible to lock and protect the header and footer sections in Microsoft Word so that although people can edit and change the main part of the document, they're unable to change or edit or remove the header or the footer from your document. So you'll see that in this document here, if I try to edit the header section, I've got some text and I've got a picture up here, I can double click that section and enter it, I can highlight that text, but if I try typing anything in, it doesn't work. So I've highlighted that, I'm trying to type, as you can probably hear on the keyboard, it doesn't work. I can click on the picture and press delete or backspace, again that doesn't work. I can try and change the size of that image. Again, it doesn't work. So that header section is completely locked out. And yet, if I want to, I can type anything I want in the rest of the document. So the rest of the document is completely editable, and I can then save it and do what I want with that. But the header, and indeed if I wanted to, the footer as well, would be completely protected. So let's see how it's possible to do this. So here is a document here that I've not uh, protected in any way at all. So I can obviously type anything I like in the header section. I can uh, delete the image. So that's all unprotected at the moment. So step one, what we have to do is put a break in between the header section and the beginning of the document, the part that we want the user to edit. So if we just press Control Home, that takes us right to the very beginning of this document, but after the header, of course. And then we need to go to Layout and then to the Breaks section. What we want to do is click on Continuous, so that inserts a section break. Uh, so it then defines the beginning part of our document that the user is then able to edit. So we click on continuous. Now this does put a little uh, space above this and we can see if we click on the home tab and then click on the little um, show or hide paragraph mark button there, um, we've got this section break here. You can simply highlight that and then change the font size to one, uh, which pretty much removes that from being visible. So we have a section break in there. It's not visible but we've now split our document into two sections. All this that's above it in the header and then everything else below which we're going to allow the user to edit. So once we put the uh, section break in there, can the continuous section break, the next point is to go up to the file tab and then click on protect document. Come down to the restrict editing option this opens a tab on the right hand side of your document now and in the second option here, editing restrictions, you want to tick the box that says allow only this type of editing in the document. And from the drop down list, well, we're not going to change that, it's simply no changes read only. Of course, if you have forms uh, completed in there, you might decide to use that. But for the moment, we'll stick to simply no changes. So at the moment, the uh, well, if we apply this, the user won't be able to make any changes at all to any part of the document. Now, that's not quite what we want, because although we want to lock the header and the footer, we don't want to lock this middle section here, the main part of the document. So what I'm going to do is come down to this exceptions uh, section here, which says select part of the document and choose users who are allowed to freely edit them. So we've got our section break just above this title. So I'm simply going to click here and then we can simply highlight the part of the document we want to allow editing, which is all of it. So right from the beginning, this is just below that section break, if you remember. So from here, right down to the end, you can press Control Shift End, of course, to highlight the whole document from the beginning. And then we'll just click in this box that says everyone. 
What that does is allow everyone editing parts to this exception that we've just chosen. Uh, if I click off that, you can see there's a little square bracket at the left hand side of that section now. And you might also be able to tell there's very slight light graying uh, behind that text as well to show us that that section could be edited. Now, the final thing we have to do is come down to step three, start enforcement. So if you're ready to apply that level of protection, then we can simply click this yes, start enforcing protection. It'll ask you for a password. Of course, you don't need to put a password in there, but if you don't, then it means that anybody can simply go back through this uh, step that you've done here and undo what you've chosen. So it's best to put a password in, uh, obviously a better password than whatever I'm using there, but uh, this just shows you how it works. If I click OK, then this document is now locked. So uh, if I highlight the title here, I can still um, type whatever I want. Um, I can highlight text here and again type whatever I want. So that is still editable. If I come up to the header section, I double click on it. Yes, I can go into the header section, but if I try to change anything in here, if I try typing or pressing backspace or deleting it or dragging it, nothing works. If I click on the picture and I try and press delete or I try to change the size, again, nothing works. So we have completely locked our header section, yet still people are able to edit the main part of the document. So I hope that made it clear. If you have any questions at all, please do leave them in the comments section below. If you did find this video useful, please, please, please do give it a thumbs up. It does help. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, then please hit that subscribe button before you go. And then you'll be first in line to know when new handy little tips like this are published. So thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.